Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Okay, so this has been ridiculously requested, but when I say ridiculously, it's like so requested. Jano Gibbs and his song Falling. We found some footage that you sent us through from Mix Life. Apparently, and, uh, yeah. Apparently, this was also like a, a soundtrack or something like that for like a Korean drama, from what some of you guys have told me. I could be wrong. Cool. But uh, yeah. Just going off of what you oh, guys told. Oh, this this has written power ballad ballads all over it. Go on, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was this one that went went to Korea and it became oh, very popular cool, as well. Cool, 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 cool. Let's have a look. Oh, we love a curtain. I love his voice. What a vibe! Tell me you're in the two thousands without telling me you're in the two thousands. Yeah, I can see a movie playing with this. It is. It's the look, isn't it? Perfect. <laughs> it's such a look, that guy. It's literally, tell me you live in the 2000s without telling me you were in the 2000s. Literally. I think the core progression and like the shortness of the phrasing, singing wise. It's so nice. It's lovely. It is, yeah. That that's the way. That's the way to explain it. It's like you're walking under sh cherry blossom trees. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. It is. It is depicting the perfect romantic setting, and it's it's slow, but it's seductive. No, yet. I yeah. don't know. It's it's a it's like a light touch of a hand when you first you know when you get those electrifying feelings. Yeah, unintentionally like, seductive. Unintentionally, um, no, it's not unintentional. It's it's like serendipity, destiny. Exactly, so, yeah, yeah. yes, That's Efra, effect. you got me, you got yeah. me, bro. Oh, that after is living cool. with you for so long, I think. <laughs> I, think yeah. I think taking a break with living with you did me better at understanding you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm annoying? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. No, but the pandemic has put stuff into perspective. <laughs> Do you find me annoying now? No, bro, no, relax. Okay. relax. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is what I'm <laughs> Get out! <laughs> no, but I don't, I don't find you. I think I Oh my god, perfect! I don't know what to do. I think I'm Woo! Look at all that. I think I'm fucking <laughs> out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's a good one, Ephra. <laughs> I want to hear it now that Keeps you... tripping moves. This is easy. But I see it I think I'm I think I'm <laughs> I think <laughs> Is it real? It is. It's it's a real. Is it a real boy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a real boy. This is definitely an acoustic kid. It's definitely Dude, yeah, an acoustic well, kid. I think and it was back reading, in the day, right as well. He's just reading off of of the score, but he, it's an acoustic kid. Dude, you should see some of the electric kids I've seen. You be fucking fool, dude. Oh really? Do you think you think this could be a like this is not an like that's that's a real acoustic kid. That's an acoustic kid. How can kid. you tell from there? Like from from this big thing over here? Yeah. That's how I can tell. Well, there's electric kids that they have that as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. What's the point? Well, you can't beat sound dynamics. The bigger, the better, <laughs> unfortunately. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't beat wavelengths and sound frequencies. Unfortunately, yeah. it is what it is. And okay. the, the higher in range in prices you go and quality of electronic drum kits, they become bigger. So conclusion, is it No real? fucking clue, mate. Uh -huh. I'm just as confused. Wow. However, no, it is acoustic. It is acoustic. Go up. Because? It has a mic. Here, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's no, no, you weren't looking at that. Stop pretending. No, I was you looking at this stick over here. This is another mic. This is a freaking mic. That's what I was looking at. Okay, fair enough. 
Well, Touche, okay. but it's not even Christmas yet. <laughs> <laughs> Continue on that note. Oh, you can't. It's so funny. I love it. <laughs> this is my favorite Jano Gibbs song, dude. I think I'm gonna sing this shit in the karaoke. It's settled. When I'm back in, when I when I'm back traveling and stuff, and I end up in the Philippines somehow, somewhere over the rainbow, I'm gonna start singing. I'm I falling, think I'm falling. <laughs> falling like that. And then just give me a shot of tequila or something. I don't even drink, but I still I'll get fucked up. Why not? <laughs> Go on, be careful, mate. I know, I know. You've had accidents while you're laughing. <laughs> That was very painful. <laughs> well, like yesterday laughed so hard. Fucking, we were at Starbucks and she was drinking. I don't know what you were drinking. I can't believe that you're sharing that Coffee. story. She fucking, it came out of my nose because <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> it still burns. People thought she was throwing up. People thought I died. And I just kept looking at her. So I was like, what is wrong with you? I couldn't breathe. Of course that. <laughs> I thought you were going to die, man. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I'm glad I'm alive. I'm glad um, you didn't... Perish. I can't use the word die. Unlift. Unlift. Yeah. Unlift. I'm glad you didn't... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know the song is good <laughs> when Efren Valeska start joking about it? <laughs> oh, when it's you like can relax. so much. <laughs> yeah, you love it. You can relax. It's brilliant. I'm sorry, it's so random. But it's a great song. I love it. <laughs> I can't do that, babe. I think you could, you know. Tough. That was a hard one, yeah. yeah I can't do that one. What a song, what a banger! You give me like a club banger or this, I'll take this any day. <laughs> Fucking in the club at 3 in the morning. The I think, think I'm falling. falling. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is impossible. The first yeah, one, maybe with the coaching from Walucha. But that's impossible. Plus his range is so... Gorgeous. So soul, king of soul. Oh, he's fantastic. Go God, on. he's talking to your heart directly there's yeah. a direct line to your soul yeah yeah it's, like, it's as if someone was speaking directly to your organs to your liver can you live without a liver or is it the pancreas <laughs> i don't know god that is beautiful when i talk about modulation this is what it means like this is what it means I, I, we used to have when this I talk about exercise. vibes this is what i mean oh 100 percent vibes there was this exercise that um for modulation uh, i we used to I, I used to help teaching kids and uh <laughs> they they we used to tell them to understand modulation 
you know, imagine that you're trying to sing without waking up your baby brother or sister. Yeah. So you're trying to sing without waking them up. So it's not about the shouting, but how far back can you pull? How far back can you pull and still maintain the sound going on? And it, it, the kids used to get so fascinated by the idea <laughs> of what you're uh, I like became fascinated. <laughs> It's like, how do you do that? It's like, you, you know, it's like, how would you talk without whispering if your baby brother or sister were around and you didn't want to wake him up? And then they'll start, like, playing around with the idea. It's such a great way to, like, teach modulation. Actually, it's a great uh, concept of uh, even to approach it as an adult because it's the quietness, it's the pulling back, it's the ad adhering to diction and understanding that you can then with the bare minimum of full fold connection you can actually create such a highlight because you have been pulling back so much throughout the whole piece so when the falsettos come in and the full fold finishes on a full fold uh, uh, setting in the voice it sounds so full and it's so rich and it really does <coughs> hit you in the inside with yeah, yeah. some 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 sort of like magic it's so nice it's so really well executed especially in the, in this type of environments we we have spoken about how difficult it is to recreate this type of sounds in a live setting environment agree, yeah. because it, it it can become very overwhelming for the singer to maintain that uh settled and pull back modulation throughout the whole song because it's a lengthy piece too it's like four minutes of a song with that setting oh, it's singing, intense. It's it intense. is hard it is very hard and it requires a lot of mental and physical energy uh, a lot of focus right um obviously his delivery is just so freaking easy it is so nice to watch because it's really refreshing but also the intention of the song is like you're holding something very delicate it's like oh love it or is that concept but it indeed but it really holds it really highlights all the tenderness well, in, is, in the feelings isn't it he's falling in love he's not falling to his death yeah it's gorgeous what a beautiful concept let us know what you th thought about it and uh, have you sung this in the karaoke is this your go to song i think this will become my go to song hell yeah i'll see you all in the christmas live stream <laughs> i promise i'll sing it